happy Monday. Welcome to the show. Why are we nice wearing shade. sunglasses? Nice sunglasses. Yeah. What's going on here? Well, it is National Sunglass Day. Nice. And it's going to be a great day for you. You're going to want to keep the shades handy. Yeah, keep them cool, keep them cool. Also, it's the start of Splash Week here on CT Style, so we have a lot of fun beach and summer theme things going on. So You're going to keep those week. on for the whole show? They keep say on the News 8 show. on the side, yeah. which is kind of cool. Styling. Uh, well, I, I think we should keep them on because uh, <laughs> things on fire last night on stage for Beyonce's performance at the BET Awards. Yeah, Queen Bee kicked off the show, which was hosted by Anthony Anderson and Tracy Ellis Ross. The show pulled out all the stops with a tribute to Prince, with Jennifer Hudson, Tori Kelly, and Stevie Wonder performing Purple Rain. Also, we have to mention our good friend Cami Crawford, who comes on CT Style. There she is, uh, second one in on the left. She comes on and talks all about style. So yeah. she was a presenter there last night at the awards show. And she has a brand new show coming out on BET tomorrow night. Oh, so make sure you guys tune in for, for that. Good for you, Cammy. She's yeah. always fun when she comes on. Hope she doesn't forget about us now. I'm sure she will. <laughs> yeah. no, we'll see. We'll see. All right, so thousands of buck naked bicyclists hit the streets of Portland, Oregon. This should be fun. The World Naked Bike Ride <laughs> Saturday night went along six mile route to protest fossil fuels and promote Bike safety. Come on, show us a little bit more. Okay. Oh, no, oh, that's enough. Only leg Just shots. Show us that. Police escorted the, the naked bicyclist. <gasps> Santa was along. there too. Oh, naked Santa. That's that's <laughs> sassy. Uh, although they asked people to at least wear helmets and shoes. That's great. A lot of blurred out uh, footage there. Also, indecent exposure can be a violation of city code. So, in that this was a protest, uh -huh. apparently they, they can ride naked, but they can't be naked before the ride or after the ride. So only uh, during that time, and they have to stay on route so please stay within the lines i mean don't you want to wear pants for that i mean can it get to, I, I don't know chafing what, where, well some, yeah. maybe <laughs> something i don't know interesting all right let's move on shall we yeah please a new study finds the average american is sleeping more and working less than a decade ago come on i don't find, believe yeah, that i find it hard to believe that's according to an annual labor department survey reported in the wall street journal it shows that americans slept an average of eight hours and 50 minutes who the heck is doing the survey here uh, and that's 13 minute increase compared to a decade ago. Americans overall spend a little less time working or commuting to work. And people, on the other hand, that are working full time jobs worked five minutes more a day. Now that's more like it. I, I can see that. All right, so we talked about this earlier this morning. I put it out on Twitter. Who actually gets eight hours of sleep? Eight hours and 50 minutes, they said. Which yeah, is... eight hours and 50 minutes of sleep besides an infant. Mm -hmm. And I got no responses. This person <laughs> says, Gull says, I get eight hours per week. Richard eight? said, it's very, oh, very rare. Per week. Per week, Not he dead, said. Yeah, week, yeah, yeah. Okay. Linda told me, I'm thinking the majority of adults aim for six hours. Mm. I have grown kids, not a chance for mom, definitely not moms. And then my friend Heidi wrote, please let me know if you find one of these unicorns. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't think uh, anyone is. Uh, how, how about you? What, what do you I get, three, I'm four? happy if I get six. Six, yeah. But it's more like to five. Five, yeah. But I'm making it work. It's what about you with your new well, shift? You're sparkling. You look beautiful. It's for, a lot for, of for under eye concealer. Five. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I just wear it for fun. Uh, the woman in our next story is certainly working more and sleeping a little less. Some restaurant goers in Maine are going to have their lunch served by, there she is, the first lady of the state of Maine, Teresa. Yeah, her name's Anne LePage. She picked up a summer job as a waitress at a seafood joint in Booth Bay Harbor. She's serving the lunch crowd at McSeagull's three days a week. <laughs> Now, her manager says LePage has been on the job for a few weeks, and she's already asking for extra shifts. Oh, hard worker. Motivation LePage. there. Yeah, she said she needs the extra money for a big purchase this summer. It's all about the money. It's all about the money. Um, but I told him, I said, you know, my money that I earn here, I'm putting it in a little kitty. I want to buy a car this summer. I, all right, I, there you go. She's saving money for a car. For a car. That's what you do. I, I can't see Kathy Malloy working at a at a lobster <laughs> joint or anything, can you? Maybe not, yeah. but uh, speaking of lobster joints, you ah. checked out uh, one of the best ones in the state, I hear. Yeah, all week long on Cruise in Connecticut on Good Morning Connecticut and from time to time here on CT Style, we are offering up the best of Connecticut. So yes. this place, Ford's down in No Inc., it was voted uh, best lobster joint okay. in Connecticut by Yankee Magazine, so we decided to stop by and see what it's all about. How do you go from selling footlongs to lobster rolls? Well, we just decided that there was there was a need. Um, we figured that what better 
anything to do with this beautiful um, you know, piece of property that we you know, have access to, then offer boaters lobster rolls to take out for the day. And you also sell live lobsters. We also sell live lobsters, yes we do. Uh, re retail lobsters, um, so folks can come in and pick up lobsters to bring home and cook for their families. And it's got to be tough for Hannah over here during the summertime, get to come down, <laughs> hang out with all the seagulls. Do you, do you go swimming a lot around here? No. Tough gig she's got over here. <laughs> Take a letter and drop some bottom. Now on the bottom too. On the bottom too? Yeah. Wow. That's good. Drop it down? Yeah, drop it down. And then we got some mitts here. You have to, we have some butter here. Top of me. I might be your new sous chef, George. Go. <laughs> the best lobster roll in the state of Connecticut. Here it is. Made by you, Seth. Made by you, yours truly. Wow. More butter? What, what, what did you say with your mouth full? <laughs> I said, more butter? <laughs> more butter. <laughs> Teresa just asked me if I smelled lobstery, so here. Do. No, your no. hands are fine. Okay, not, not so bad. I but used Purell this week, so it's nice, all good. Nice uh, assignment you get, my yeah, friend. Yeah, not too shabby. Could tomorrow, be worse. <laughs> we're, we're doing donuts tomorrow, so I, nice. I plan on bringing donuts in That'd tomorrow. be terrific Neil's if you donuts. could deliver. We will try. And, and maybe a lobster bib, too, just so you don't get donuts on you. I need that sometimes. Just to make it full circle. <laughs> hey, more fun coming up here on the show today.